Our European cities are getting more and more crowded with green spaces progressively replaced by concrete. This trend has had major repercussions in terms of climate change. Floods, rising temperatures in city centres and air pollution are among the main consequences of the growing urbanisation of our cities. Nature can inspire modern solutions, protecting the environment. A growing number of European cities are turning to nature-based solutions to improve urban climate and water resilience. Eindhoven, along with Tempera and Genoa, is at the forefront of cities trying new strategies within the European Unilab project. In Eindhoven, in the city centre, it's very stony, uh, so the heat stress is a very big problem. Last year, we, uh, as Eindhoven, took the record to be the most heated city in the Netherlands, 41 degrees. But also in days as these, you can see it outside, the rains today, um, the, the, our streets are getting flooded. And yeah, that's also a very, very big problem. Paved roads tend to quickly heat up the surrounding environment and they also retain water more readily. To cope with these problems, the strategy is to increase the amount of green areas, including ponds. These solutions make it even easier and less costly to maintain these public areas. What we find out is that nature-based solutions work pretty well for us uh, because they improve the livability of the city and they have some big advantages. The city usually is a very much a paved area and if you use nature-based solutions it will be greener and uh, we discovered that green is cheaper in maintenance than, um, than a paved area. Another key challenge is preventing the formation of urban heat islands within cities. Buildings and roads capture solar radiation, creating uncomfortable conditions for citizens and the local ecosystems. At this square in the city centre, trees and grass have been planted in what was previously a stone-covered area. You should imagine this square as being totally paved before. And all the green that was put in the, on this square is meant to stimulate the biodiversity, to stimulate a more li livable uh, situation for the citizens, and to use the rainwater in a more innovative and smarter way. Built above an underground car park, this garden has a water storage system to collect rain. Green areas like this have multiple advantages, not least the creation of a pleasant, healthier environment for neighbors. The stress of the, the heat in the summertime is too much and people don't, we are not used to that in Holland. So the environment is not that nice to live in in summertime and if you can change that with flowers and with trees then it will help to cool it down. Oh, the park has changed completely. It's been 180 degrees since it was before. Uh, concrete, benches, no nature and now beautiful. I, I think it's really important for nature to find a, uh, its place back in, in the cities where we've been neglecting it for too long. The project sees urban habitats as living organisms and green spaces like this deliver healthy improvements to air quality since paved areas catch only a small volume of particles and pollutants, whereas green areas capture them from the air and retain them more.